For a while now, I've been searching for a simple way to create a see-through text title like this one. I've seen it done a bunch of different ways, usually involving composite modes, masking, or some other time-consuming and complicated technique. In this tutorial, I reveal what I believe is the fastest and easiest way to create a see-through text title and turn it into a drag-and-drop asset you can reuse in future projects. I'm David Power, and this is a DaVinci Resolve Power Tip. Step one, drop a text plus element onto your timeline. From the Edit tab, open the Effects Library. Under Toolbox, select Titles, and drag and drop a text plus element onto your timeline above an existing video clip. Now, there doesn't have to be a video on your timeline, but if there is, it'll be easier to see the effect come to life. Okay, step two, configure the text. Put your playhead somewhere over the text so you can see it in the viewer. And then open the inspector pane. Enter the text you wanna see. I'll type burger. Now you can use this effect with any font, but you'll find it works best with bold, chunky fonts. For that reason, I'll choose Bibus Neue. And yes, I had to Google that to find the proper German pronunciation. At this stage, you can also adjust the tracking and any other style elements you want. And when you're done, let's move on to step three, adjust text shading. Near the top of the inspector pane, click the shading icon. By default, element one is selected and leave that as is for the moment. Under properties, change the color to black. Next, pull the alpha slider all the way down to zero. The text will disappear, but don't sweat that. It'll all make sense in just a minute. Step four, add a text border. As a side note, under shading elements, number one is the text itself. And if you disable it, the text disappears. So by default, with element one selected, any changes you make to the properties on this tab affect the text we typed a moment ago. Also by default, all the other elements are disabled. Now, because it's good to see what your options are here, element two is called red outline. And if we enable it, we see a thin red border or outline around our text. Element three is called black shadow. And when it's enabled, it adds a drop shadow to our now invisible text. Element four is set up to be a blue border. It's kind of what we're looking for, but not exactly. So I'll disable it and choose element number five from the dropdown list. Number five is a blank element, so we'll use this for our customization. I'll start by clicking the Enable checkbox. Let's give it a name so we can identify it later. I'll type Custom Background. Next, under Properties, click the Border Fill icon, which is the second from the right. And magically, we can see our text again. Right now, each character has a separate border around it, and that's not what we want, so let's fix that. Open the Level dropdown and select Line. Notice how the background now surrounds the entire word rather than the individual characters. You'll also notice the borders are a little asymmetrical, smaller at the top than at the bottom. Some fonts scale the border for you perfectly. Beavis Noya is not one that does, so let's fix that quickly. Scroll down and open the position controls and use the Y offset control to even up the top and bottom borders. Move the control slowly until it looks okay. Also, if you wanna change the width of the borders around the text, you can do that by adjusting the extend horizontal and extend vertical sliders until you get the look you want. I'll point out here, if you ever want the background or border to fill the screen, you can simply drag both of these sliders to the right until the border covers the screen. For the moment, I'm gonna stick with a smaller border. Step number five, season to taste. Next, we'll make a few small tweaks to our title. To change the color of the background, again, in the inspector pane under shading elements, make sure element five is selected and under properties, click the color icon. Here you can choose one of the color presets. You can drag the crosshairs through the color picker. You can even enter HSL, RGB or HTML color values. So you have a lot of options for getting exactly the color you're looking for. To keep it simple, I'll pick this light blue. Now it goes without saying, your text will be much more legible to your viewers if you create contrast between the border color and the color of the video footage below the title. 
If your video is dark, you're better off with a light colored border. And if your video is primarily bright colors, you're better off with a dark border. And because I'm dealing with a darker video, I've chosen this light blue background for my title. But color is only one of the things you can change. If we select the layout tab, I can adjust the center X and center Y controls to change the position of the text. And if we return to the text tab inside the inspector, here we can change the text string itself. We can also change the size of the text. One thing I'll point out is that if you make dramatic changes to the text after you've adjusted the position of the background, you'll notice it shifts the symmetry slightly between the top and bottom border widths. If that happens, simply pop back over to the shading tab, make sure element five is selected, scroll down to position and adjust the offset Y control until the top and bottom borders are even once again. If you only make minor changes to the text size, you'll probably be fine you'll only need to adjust the border for big changes. And of course, you can adjust any of the other parameters on this or any other tab to get things looking exactly the way you want. Now look, it goes without saying, you do not wanna to have to repeat these steps every time you need a see-through title in a new project. That would be, as the kids say, totes cray cray. So here's how we make our title reusable. Step six, add your title to a power bin. Let's close the effects library, open the media pool, and from the view menu, select show power bins. Now you don't have to create a new bin here, but you'll find it can help you stay organized. I'll open the master power bin, right click and choose new bin, and I'll name this titles. Next, I'll drag and drop our new title into the titles bin. I'll single click the title and give it a new name of see-through text. And from now on, anytime I need a see-through text element in a new project, it's simply a matter of opening my power bin, dragging the custom title onto my timeline, updating the text, changing the background color if I want to, and boom, like magic, I have a new see-through title without creating it from scratch. Before we finish up, I just wanna mention the title we've just created is static. If you want to animate a see-through title, it's simply a matter of creating a fusion composition, adding a text plus node, following the exact steps outlined in this tutorial to configure the text plus node, adding a transform node to the composition, and then adding position keyframes and spline shape adjustments to make the title slide in and out the way you want it to. And there you have it, see-through text titles. If you have questions, let me know in the comments. And if you're enjoying these tutorials, you know what to do. Once again, I'm David Power, and I'll see you in the next Power Tip.